Um, do you want to tell us about this one, John? This was originally written um, for a musical uh, called Cratchit's Christmas Carol. Uh, and it was originally written from the point of view of Scrooge, um, but in the presence of writing, I mean, I shared it with DL and Chris, and we all thought it had legs and it could put a point of view for many different things. And it's got a sort of an anthemic chorus, which lends a weight to whatever message you're giving. So I think if we just listen to, to, to the new words that we put to it together, I think that message will come over. Mm. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Yeah. <clears throat> so. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just got in my head for a minute. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. John now but um yeah to play that in front of John who is someone I've greatly admired for a very long time was uh, very weird but um I really love songs about there's so much emphasis put on um the virtues of youth and um and and kind of you know running out of time and I wish I'd done this when I was younger and I really I really love songs that assert the fact that it doesn't matter what's happened, it doesn't matter where you are, it doesn't matter what's going on, you can start again today and you can, to, there's no point worrying about what's happened, there's no point really um, worrying about what you might do tomorrow and I think um, 
I think that's that's the message that I got from that song. 